Jerusalem Brain Science Building is the crown in an area that many know. The Knesset, all government buildings, National Library, Supreme Court, Israel Museum. At the heart of it is the Jerusalem Brain Science Building. It is not by chance. It must connect all understanding of human creativity and influence it. So it is in the center of the campus. It is the heart of the campus because it brings all departments into our building. Without this building, we will not have the interdisciplinary meeting of all departments into the process of solving the problems of the 21st century enigma, the brain. The new center follows the Hebrew University tradition of interdisciplinary collaborations and interactions, building a home for brain scientists of the future. Our scientists are engaging in research leading to understanding of brain diseases. We are working to understand neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson to bring science from the basics of understanding the brain to brain repair. The disciplines of physics, computer science, psychology, neurobiology, medicine, all these should be under one roof talking to each other. And now we have entered the critical phase of this project, building a state-of-the-art home for this center, bringing all the members to one place for fruitful and synergistic interactions. I'm going to try and give a word picture for this building. It's on the north-south axis of the campus. To the west, which is a kind of formal entrance, To the east, it opens up to the city and incorporates in those facades the Jerusalem stone, which is in so many ways almost the trademark of the city, of the region. The landscaping of the campus comes into the heart of this building, creating shaded canopies. And the teaching spaces are around that courtyard. And at the base are the auditoria, the cafes, the social spaces. And kind of bridging between these two wings is a social hub where discussions, interaction, what I described as breaking down the barriers between the different specialities in the quest for medical breakthroughs, uh, small uh, spaces throughout the building, informal spaces where students can gather. Again, the social flexibility to match the technical flexibility of the laboratories. The disposition of the laboratories, there are 28 of them on three floors, and circulation which enables accessibility and a high degree of flexibility. So for example, we can be talking 28 now, we may be talking more in the future or less, and, and the flexibility for change, for technological change, but also for social change. I think the combination of generous shading, the use of natural local materials to create a shell which is highly insulated, and the potential to use natural ventilation and natural cooling, all of these will come together to reduce the energy required, in that sense, to move towards a sustainable agenda. The visual arts also permeate these scientific spaces, so there is a very strong cultural dimension. There is a gallery, a gallery which is devoted to works of art, again associated with the study of, of the brain. Almost certainly the facilities that this project will offer in terms of its spaces and the individuals who will contribute to the research will undoubtedly make this a cutting-edge project. The manner in which the friends and the donors of this project have come together with their wisdom and their generosity to make this building possible is also a celebration in its own right and very, very special to its home. 
the Hebrew University of Jerusalem.